Hi everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12.2 this time. I have upgraded to 1.12 and we are going to start things off with hopefully not a bang. Uh, hopefully, hopefully this will go well, but I decided to go big. We are going to start doing large ships and initially I was thinking of doing a modular large ship, but I think we'll start off with this and then we'll get into even bigger things. Uh, so we're looking to spend all the money that we have made, basically, and none of this is reusable. Well, of course the ship itself is. The idea here is that we have a lander here that can uh, do the refueling. It's got a Convertitron there. I uh, don't know if that's great to carry the Convertitron down or not, but we've got a lander can for an engineer. We've got science there. We've got ore containment. We've got liquid fuel containment and we've got the nerve there, just one nerve. And so that's a lander and it'll dock there. We've got RCS ports and uh, mod propellant and everything. We've got fuel cells, we've got solar panels, we've got fuel for the fuel cell. That's like the only oxidizer that we have on this whole thing, thing uh, the, the main ship, not the boosters. Uh, but you can see that the lander with uh, the science and everything else fits between the additional engines on the ship which are sort of slung around and so we have five nerves on this total uh, one of them is on the lander but it can be used in parallel with the other four nerves and so that is the idea and then we have additional liquid fuel there and then here we have a cargo bay with various probes uh, first of all we have a claw up here on uh, one of these telescoping thingamajigs and that's so that this ship can potentially claw an asteroid and then start... Well, okay, that's a whole bad idea because drills are like this. Uh, yeah, we'll need to have the... Maybe we should have the drills there. Hold on. Maybe I should undo that. Maybe we can put some drills up there too. I hate carrying extra drills, but... Um, if we claw here, yeah, okay. I mean, the drills are pretty heavy though. Okay, so we can extend that out, claw. And then the drills will do their drilling thing. That's pretty long. We'll have to extend that out further. We do have the option. We do have a reaction wheel up there and everything. I don't know, we'll see. So that's a thing. I should probably put more radiators on. I've got these radiators here, flat ones, but those aren't that good. Um, those are just for looks. So we'll have additional radiators. Although we have the radiators on here. I guess those will be enough. I'm not sure. We'll have to think about that. So the engineer just stays back here and then we have the science lab up here with two scientists to do their thing. Got a big relay antenna up there and more mob propellant to top off the fuel. All the probes use mob propellant. That's what they do. So they're all mob propellant probes and there's actually a smaller lander just in case we didn't want to land the, the driller lander. We can land a Kerbal in this external command seat Yes, we're doing that now. And we've got a whole bunch of science and the Kerbal can just land with RCS. Of course, that's only for a small uh, planet or moon. But yeah, uh, in general, most of this is for small stuff. We're just trying to milk all the small stuff first. And then we'll think about the Tylos and Leafs of the world, worlds. And yeah, the... Refueler lander can probably handle something up to the size of the moon. That's about it. The moon is pushing it. So that's what we're talking about in terms of what we can handle with this. But we haven't really milked everything yet. So we're going to do a shakedown run to Minmus is the plan, assuming this actually is launchable. So we have 1.36 thrust weight ratio at sea level off the ground. Uh, total vacuum thr uh, delta V of... 3,700 or so, and I think that's gonna be enough, and then the ship is on its own, so, yep, let's see, can we uh, get some, uh, we've got one engineer who has to be in the lander can, I, and Kirstead is our only, we really need to rescue some Kerbals, um, 
Uh, I guess we'll have a uh, Megan as a pilot. I guess we'll just have it like that. Uh, that is dangerous. Those that's the, our remaining Kerbals. We don't have anybody else. So I guess we could hire somebody, but they're expensive. So anyway. Let's take it outside and do the shakedown cruise to Minmus. Okay, well that's the most Kerbal rocket I've made uh, recently. So, well, Minmus should be fairly easy, right? <laughs> it's been a while since I played stock. I might mess things up. So, SAS on, throttle is up, and... Uh, oh, are the, are the radiators auto-deploying or anything? No, they're okay. All right. That might be more of a realism overhaul thing. All right, and launch. We're actually using these mammoths for the first time. These are Pollux boosters here. I just unlocked those. I also unlocked the triangular pieces here. We don't do a whole lot of structural panels. I don't know if it's a good idea to do structural panels. Probably uh, this ship is going to tell us that we need to do completely different things instead of what we have here. But we'll get to that. We'll figure it out. I'm not at any window for a planet right now, I don't think. We'll just hang out around Minmus until a window. We are not using any contracts right now. Potentially we could fulfill the return to Kerbin from a flyby of Paul with this. Uh, otherwise, I have not picked up any new contracts. This is purely science milking. I don't know if everything is working exactly how it's supposed to work in 1.12, but... I mean, environmental visual enhancements didn't have an explicit update, and... Neither did stock visual enhancements, which is what I use for the configurations. And boosters off. There they go. Waterfall is clearly working fine. Okay, this better not be taking our liquid fuel at all. Okay, it looks, looks good. Lots of auto strutting was involved in the construction of this, obviously. Trying to get as much juice from these boosters as I can, but I don't want to bring them into orbit. That's why I don't want to have them do the apoapsis circularization burn. Okay, 120 on the apoapsis is as much as I'm going to go. So, uh, let's separate those off. Let's get rid of the fairing. Actually, we could do both of those at the same time. Okay, and activate the engines. Alright, we do have solar panels. Technically, we should roll like this. Oh, we're sort of upside down-ish. I wonder what we're controlling from, actually. I didn't put a cupola on. So, I should have put lights, I forgot about that. Gosh darn it. That's one thing we're missing here. So, we are reading 6,387 meters per second right now. So, if it's got that right, I would be surprised. I should have put some extra command seats in just in case we rescue some Kerbals. Or bring some back. We need to bring some back. That's the thing. We've got a lot of deployed Kerbals that just need to be brought back. This was not the vessel to do that. Okay, and ignition. Naturally, our thrust rate ratio is not going to be super high with this. I gotta check that it's not using any of the lander's own fuel right now. Okay. Seems good. So we've got a separate scanner probe there. I didn't really go through all the probes. We got a separate scanner probe there, and while it's docked here, we can just use the scanner from here. Got that little lander, but we've got various other probes, a claw, tug probe, we've got two parachute probes that can go inside an atmosphere, 
And one that's just a relay satellite, but it's got science with it. Okay, well that's a good enough orbit. Let's take a look at how to get to Minmus. I think we'll do an off-plane transfer. Go. A power of five nerves. Current mass of the vessel is... Nope, we wanted to focus on the vessel. 146 tons. Spark count 257. Max acceleration 2.1 meters per second squared. So, a fifth of 1G is the best we can do. So yeah, apologies for not uploading more stock stuff recently. I think I'll try and do a more regular schedule and just upload on Mondays, I think. I mean, I've not been particularly great at regular schedules uh, recently. But, yeah. Yeah. We will try to get onto something a little bit more sane. It is my intention to keep up this series until KSP2 comes out, and uh, if it comes to adding mods in to spice things up, we'll do that. But uh, so far, I haven't done any of these really large ships yet, so we'll go with this premise for now. We'll create some really big ships. I mean, this isn't that big. We can get bigger. I want to see how big we can get, actually. We've got this budget. We ought to use it. Okay, coming to the end of the burn here. We've used quite a lot of the fuel in the mothership itself. So that delta V reading is probably including a whole separate stage in terms of the lander. That doesn't look like what we were intending on. Unfortunately, the ISRU lander is not particularly good at refueling this whole thing. I mean, we can carry ore back up and then convert it at the station. Uh, I don't know about its efficiency, really, because we're carrying a lot down with us, too. A polar orbit isn't too bad. I forget, have we scanned Minmus for resources? Probably, but let's double check. Oh yeah, we have. Okay. So we have done that. I guess a polar orbit is probably unnecessary. But maybe we can fix that up here. I mean, but then we can land at more interesting locations with a polar orbit. So we'll just go with it. Okay. I really should check on our other science labs and see if they have anything to transmit. They've had some time to digest more information. We do have the alarm clock function now, so I could run many missions in parallel if I wanted to. That might be a thought. Maybe we should start constructing another ship while this ship is on its way to one of the planets. That's possible. Of course, without Kerbal construction time, it doesn't take us a lot of time to put a ship together or anything. I think we'll try to land the miner over here. I don't know if we've explored that. That's uh, hired. It's not flat, so possibly we haven't. That's uh, probably a bit low, but well, it'll be safe still. It occurs to me belatedly that we probably don't actually have a controller on the mothership itself. Uh, we have controllers in the bay though, with all these probes and all, so as long as one probe stays, we'll have control, but the ideal situation. Um, those guys are wiggling. That's probably a bad sign. Uh... I don't recall this behavior with the docking ports and all before. Oh boy. I sense... Well, let's, let's disarm the... Claw. But, yeah, I sense some Kraken things going on here, but... Let, let's focus. We're going to try and land this lander on Minmus and... Uh, get some science and... Uh, if hopefully the location is new. And also 
practice drilling with it. So, undock. So the lander itself has lots of delta V. We have to be careful about docking and undocking it. But 3,787, it might be overdoing it to be honest. And thrust weight ratio around them is 4.5, so that's safe enough. Now the ship has only 1,177 uh, 1, left now. So that's less than I was planning on for the ship's internal fuel. I guess I... Should, I, I don't know why it's so little though. Hmm. All right, so gear down. It's a little bit tall, but we are landing on Minmus. And in general, this is for low gravity areas. Uh, we will have to sidestep the mothership a bit. Well, let's see. I'm sure we've done the magnetometer report already. Well, recovery is an extra 10. We could probably get into the science lab anyway. Oh, wait, which way around are we going? <laughs> of course we're going the wrong way. All right. Uh, boost that back up again. If I recall, five kilometers is fine for making sure we don't crash into Minmus. Could be wrong about that, but we'll see. So we need to get over on this side first, and then everything will rotate and we'll probably end up in that... in that flat. And that's probably somewhere we've been there before. We could probably... maybe we can go over here. That seems likely to have not been visited. So we're gonna pick up some ore. And see after we we'll top off the liquid fuel and then we'll get to the mothership and then we'll see how much it actually takes to top this off after getting into orbit again and whether there's any surplus. Hopefully there is surplus. Of course we're carrying a whole lot of fuel down and up again that we didn't need. I think I put too much liquid fuel on here. We could probably store some on the mothership, but we're still carrying the tanks like that. Uh, this is actually more of a slope than I thought. Well, I think maybe the part we're landing in is flat, but that's a slope right there. I was not expecting. Uh, it might not be that flat. I don't know. It's, it's tough to tell. We might be in the center of the pit. By sheer luck. Or we might actually have a slope. Again, it is mid-miss, low gravity and all. Oh, it's doing that thing where it lifts us up with the drill. <laughs> oh, okay, it's back down, that's good. Um, well, start service, har nothing to harvest. Wait a minute. I was told we had some concentration of ore here. What do you mean nothing to harvest? Well, I mean, it's still a little bit there on 50%. Um, nope, it says nothing to harvest here. Well, shoot. That's strange. Or at least I haven't experienced this before. All right, but let's get some science with Long here. Um, let me just use solar panels. We don't need to use the fuel cells at Minmus. Well, at least for now. Okay, but is it a new biome at least? Log gravity data? Yeah, it looks like it. Keep. 
log temperature, keep seismometer, keep barometer, keep all new. Uh, which biome was it? Lowlands. Okay. We had not even been to the Lowlands, Sun and Miss. So I'll just have Flong take everything. Oh, I forgot to do the mystery goo. Uh, but on the outside, Flong cannot do the mystery goo. Take surface sample. Oh, that's not new. Interesting. EV report, also not new. We just didn't have those instruments the last time we were here. So we probably have done the crew report too. Yep. Collect data. Technically we don't need Flong to plant a flag or anything, uh, so we won't. What I want to do is maybe hop to the northeast a little bit to see if there's some ore over there. I mean, what else can we do, right? There are rocks over there. Have we done enough of a hop? It wasn't much of a hop, to be honest. It still says nothing to harvest there. Yeah. The game is being mean to me. <laughs> um, we're already off of where Mothership 1 is. We've got plenty of fuel though. Let's just go northeast and go up here and see what we can do. Yeah, but even that location just doesn't have anything at a 60% cutoff. Uh, my miss is rotating pretty quickly. What kind of landscape do we have here now? Okay, coming down. Oh, we hadn't done the Science Junior yet. Okay, it doesn't look too bad right now. Okay, yep, yep, all right. Uh, deploy drill. Yeah. Oh, start surface harvester. Nothing to harvest. Do I have like a broken 1.12.2 where there's no ore where it says maybe I need to rescan? Maybe because it's a new version I have to rescan or something? I don't know. For now, I'm just gonna go back to the mothership. You guys can tell me. Maybe I have to rescan everything once you go into a new version of KSP or something. Yep, I don't know about this, but let's check the science. Log gravity data. Uh, it's lowlands again, but we can do the science junior. Okay, keep. All right, so we will need to rendezvous with the mothership, which is not in plane anymore. Um, we'll just wait and go. Okay, and our inclination is mostly corrected there. Very good. Should be good enough. Okay, we'll stop right there. And then an apoapsis, we'll give it another burn. Get into a lower orbit so we can catch up. Okay, that's probably close enough over there. Yep. Now the docking sequence with the mothership and that nice tight fit we've got there. Okay. Well, please don't point it. Please don't point it. Well, here it would be best if we get everything right, including the rotation. All right, let's see if we can do this. Uh, actually, I probably had it rotated the other way in the VAB because that's where I put the radiators and they'd certainly want to extend on this side. Hmm. I'll just keep going like this though. Oh, alright. Uh, 
seems like I had it this way around. For the sake of the radiators, we should probably just do that. Uh, that's a tighter fit, too. Okay. Um, I feel like I can't fit this way. There's some, there's something blocking me. Some unforeseen collider or something. Well, this way I seem to, I wasn't able to move forward with the, in the other orientation. So we might not be able to use those radiators like that. We'll have to get long to move them or something. Okay, but we are docked again. Review data. Process in lab. We might want to just, let's see how much we have in the lab right now. Oh, uh, well, I mean, that's a lot of science per day. All right, let's add some more. Okay, we're at 499 right now. I think that's all we've got. So that's producing 21 signs per day right now. And we can tell it to clean the experiments. And that is our first foray with Mothership 1. So we'll have it hang out around Minmus orbit and we'll have to decide where to send it next while it's cleaning out the mystery goo. Let's see what the planetary alignment is like. Uh, well, it's definitely not a Duna time or an Eve time or a Drez time or a Jewel time. It could be, I hate to say it, close to an Elu time, which we, we haven't been to Elu at all, but we don't have the fuel for Elu. So that's a bit complicated. I'll think about what to do, but well, at least we don't have the apparent fuel for Elu. Carrying all this stuff around. Maybe we'll need to think about that. Why is that sticking out? Guys. That wasn't... That wasn't sticking out before. <laughs> uh, well, at least the other probes aren't jiggling right now. That's an improvement. Okay, I think everything is clean. So, next time we will continue the adventures of this and possibly start building something new. We'll see. We'll see about the contracts and we may have to refuel this manually because we couldn't find ore. I'll have to figure out the ore situation. There's a lot of business to get done. But anyway, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time.